Welcome to this episode of Talk Commerce. I have Ray Bogman from Adobe. Uh, Ray, go ahead, introduce yourself, tell us what you do day to day, and um, uh, one of your passions about Adobe. Passions of Adobe, wow. No, passions about Magento. The whole passions about Magento. Where do we start? 14 years already. So for those um, who are, I'm Ray Bogman, uh, based out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands. Currently a senior global software uh, support manager for custom engineering uh, yeah. within Adobe. Hey, and uh, one of my you passions in life is, of course, Magento, uh, and now You're Adobe Commerce. The and uh, they've been doing this now for over 14 right. years. That's great. And we're at the UnConference Conference in, in Orlando, and this is the first introduction to the concept sure, in the US, but it's somewhat common it's for Europeans. Yeah, I think we grew up with so it, you know, it's just the nature. But uh, it's pretty new over here in Orlando. I'm really pleased and, and grateful for you guys setting up this event. It's a big thing, but uh, I really like the event and also the format, you know, on, on sharing. And I think that's the most important. Uh, it, it's sometimes a little bit unstructured, of course, because there's no official agenda. But I think maybe that's the best thing of the whole event, uh, since everybody's free to share whatever thing they would like to talk to, and we all vote on it, and you just go on stage. You don't need any slides. Uh, if you're prepared, that's fine, but it doesn't mean uh, getting over there. Yeah, and so, I, so I think uh, you, you had mentioned earlier that uh, people are more talkative in these events because they feel like there's more of a space for you to talk. Yeah, I fully agree with that. Looking at if an event like this, it, it's definitely in this group sense, I guess, you know, sharing um, and asking uh, can help everybody to be participating. Normally, there's just one speaker up there, you know, and you have 100, maybe 200 people watching the session, and then there's through the Q&A at the end. But at some point, uh, I guess everybody's a little bit scared to start asking questions, and definitely with this format, everybody's equal. You're not a speaker officially, everybody can be a speaker, but everybody can be participating as well. So that's something that I really like about this format. Yeah, and I think one thing that was encouraging is that there was seemed to be less stress to make sure you're on track for your agenda. And people were talking, even at the breaks. Sometime we had to just, we, we had a lot of breaks today. We had a lot of breaks, but I guess those breaks really had given us the opportunity for um, diving a little bit deeper on some of the topics. I know we had discussions on, on what could be done, and, and I think the whole room was participating, you know, at, at some point, and that was really well. But looking at those breaks, uh, people start mingling and starting more questions, so that got really things going. Yeah, and I think um, the because there wasn't that stress of getting to the next topic and people weren't concerned about when is the next topic going to start, uh, it seemed to lend a little bit of um, relaxation to the event. Oh, that was definitely sure, but also having now the time to spend, I would say, quality time on, on the people around. I had finally some time to speak to uh, some partners over here that sponsored this event, which is really grateful for this kind of stuff. Normally, it, it's pretty hard. You've got an agenda, and you walk from one room to another room. Right now, it's pretty focused. So it's unclear, of course, who's going to speak, but looking at every topic, everybody's thrilled and, and you know, happy to start sharing. So everybody's equal. So uh, you, some of your topics are around Adobe Commerce and some of the things happening. Tell us a little bit about the, the thinning down of Adobe Commerce and how that's going to improve the performance and all the other things. You had a great presentation and I'm excited we don't have time to go through the whole thing right now. What are the highlights? What do you see in that, the highlights out of that? To drill it down. I shared some, some sessions and it was kind of summary and, and to get also the momentum going, asking everybody, what's the definition on composable commerce? How do we you know, look at that? Is it just a marketing term? Uh, how do we use it? Everybody's familiar with AIs, Headless, Cloud, and maybe something new that's microservices. And while asking everybody in the room, okay guys, how do we do this? What does it actually mean? 
what's known uh, and, and it's been used now for several years and, and is it all about marketing or how do we actually add value to a product uh, or sorry to a project and also the merchant using it yeah one one thing that I, I saw very interesting about your presentation is that somebody could have a version of magento or Adobe Commerce, and you could treat it headlessly just as you treat another SaaS version of it. You could never touch the code theoretically uh, and run it the exact same way. It would still be a pass. You'd still have all the control over it that you'd want, but you could run it the same way as you would another service. And I, I'm very intrigued by uh, the application store, the application developer system that you were talking about, I think with App Builder, what was it? App Builder, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm super excited about that. I think that some of the concepts about serverless applications, it's going to revolutionize. It will definitely. I think we are getting there. It's available now, um, and it will help developers to speed up development, get something up and running much easier, but also interconnect with not only additional services out there, but also the internal network. Uh, well, pulling all the data together and getting that data to where it belongs. If it's a headless, or in this case a serverless infrastructure, uh, if it's going to be an IoT or whatever channel that needs to be serving, well, the business needs. And I guess that power finally comes to light. Yeah, that's super. Ray, it's, been, it's so great to see you in person after all this time. It's been too long, man. Been too it long. has been too long. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. I appreciate you make the long journey across the pond to come to lonely old Florida and see us. And it was such a great event and great to see you. Well, thanks, Brian. Thanks for organizing it. And I hope to see you soon.